I am finally here to do the first video for my YouTube web coding tricks channel. Uh, so today we will talk about the jQuery. Uh, it's just uh, the demonstration video what you can uh, do with jQuery and uh, later we will just uh, uh, we will also set up the jQuery and uh, uh, go through each element how we can uh, set it up. So as for introduction the jquery uh, just revolutionizes the way we uh, write the javascript um, as the slogan says write less to more so when you are just going to uh, work with jquery you just have to say goodbye to old javascript and uh, uh, start writing the javascript in a new fashion uh, so it kind of increases the efficiency of uh, our work. So let's see what jQuery have to offer uh, to us. So jQuery, uh, JavaScript is mostly uh, related to the user interface. So do the jQuery. So do, uh, jQuery have uh, lots of things which improve our web design and uh, makes it more uh, like uh, 2.0-ish. So uh, with the core jQuery installed, you can use its widgets, uh, which we are just going through. Um, so first of all, let's see, Cordin. Uh, it's a jQuery widget, which is very uh, easy to implement. And uh, you, as you can see, uh, it makes the sections Similarly, you have jQuery draggable. Uh, resizable. This is all to show you uh, what the new capabilities jQuery will provide you. Similarly, selectable. These all uh, can be uh, implemented on your listings, listing pages, sortable. If you have a record listing page and you uh, want uh, to provide a sort option, which uh, also saves in a database. So the best option is to use sortable. And the best thing is uh, that these things are very, very easy to implement. And uh, if uh, we go through the widgets, we have autocomplete. This is not uh, much that I have used, so I'm not familiar with that. Let's go with date picker. This is real good one and very easy to implement. So if you have a date field on your uh, farm you would not uh, it would not be a good idea to just provide a date field and uh, let the user uh, choose a format for that because Th that can make uh, your db real bad and user will not be just uh, entering in same format so to restrict them and to provide them a good uh, functionality you will just uh, implement the uh, uh, jquery calendar on it and this is very easy thing uh, to do we will just go through that in uh, later later videos date picker you can just choose a format and uh, that all will be will be used and uh, you can see just i'm clicking into it and it is not uh, giving me the room to just provide the date myself and it is uh, very useful for user to go through and select the date. Uh, similarly, dialog. Forget the old alert boxes. Uh, this is real good new way to that and to do that. Animated dialog. Let's see. Uh, model dialogs. It just kind of disables the uh, screen as your page. So you can't just do anything else uh, unless uh, you close it 
similarly model message dialog okay model confirmation uh, forget the old JS confirmations which are just uh, don't look very good and these things are uh, just real good to improvement a little source code which is just uh, the HTML and this is little jQuery related thing that you will need to know we'll go through everything uh, in later videos and like uh, there is much more uh, progress bar oh. these are much better than what you can do in a normal JavaScript slider we have tabs Another good thing I like about the jQuery is uh, that it provides uh, the option for people to develop their own uh, jQuery widgets and a lot of people have uh, developed their own jQuery widgets and uh, made them available uh, online and uh, on the other jQuery site that's docs.jQuery.com or you just go to jQuery.com and uh, you will get a plugins repository that have a lots of custom built uh, jQuery plugins which one of them you can easily use and uh, these are all for different purposes L like uh, for Ajax we have 227 uh, 277 uh, custom built uh, widgets and you you will just you can find a widget about anything like uh, we are just uh, are gonna see a pictures jQuery widget that is custom built we'll just I make them photos Here we go. We have just a, a sub option for photo gallery or jQuery Flickr set widget. So uh, people have done lots of work uh, building jQuery widgets, and they are all uh, open source and available uh, to you to, for you to just uh, use. Uh, let me show a jQuery widget which is implemented on my site, which is for Pakistan. And here's a custom uh, built jQuery widget which I am using for uh, showing the photos. Uh, here's here it goes. Previous. Uh, so the point is that jQuery provides uh, lots of plugins and lots of uh, custom built plugins are available which can be used and uh, jQuery makes the lives much easier and this is not about just these plugins uh, jQuery makes the usage of uh, Ajax way much easier than uh, the classic way of just defining the object and doing everything yourself it's have just uh, own call and own complete functions which will uh, just uh, help you very much doing things very easy so this is the first uh, tutorial video which uh, just introduces you to the jQuery next we will uh, be setting up the jQuery for a site so uh, do check out the channel and uh, that's it for now thank you for watching do subscribe uh, hope we will have lots more